living things and non-living things. We see many things around us. In the planet we live, from mountains to oceans, from plants to animals, there are many things in our surrounding which can be categorized into two, that is, living things and non-living things. Let us see some pictures. Animals, trees, birds, fish, human being, they all come under the living thing. Ant, book, car, chair, ball, rock. They all come under the non-living things. Human beings, animals and plants comes under the living things category because they have life. Whereas the things like book, ball, pencil, car, house, etc. comes under the non-living things category as they don't have life. Some of the natural things are also called non-living things like sun, stars, moon, water and rock. Now let us see some of the characteristics of the living things. Living things can grow. A seed grows into a plant which finally grows into a tall, strong tree. The same way a baby grows into a child, then into an adult and finally an old person. A puppy grows into a dog. Living things can move. Human beings and animals move with the help of their legs. Whereas fish swim in water to move and birds fly using their wings. As plants cannot move, they move in the direction of the sun. Example, sunflower faces the sun and moves in the direction of the sunlight. Living things can feel. They can feel and have emotions. They are sensitive to various touch like hot and cold. Living things can breathe. Human beings and animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide using their lungs. Whereas plants inhale carbon dioxide from the surrounding and exhale oxygen. Living things can reproduce. Reproduction is the process by which living things give birth to their young one of their own kind. A dog gives birth to puppies. Birds lay egg and the young ones hatch out from these eggs. Human beings give birth to their babies. Living things need food and water to survive. Human beings depend on plants and animals for their food. Whereas animals either depend on plants or other animals for their food. Plants make their own food by using air, water and sunlight. Living things die. After completing their lifespan, living things die. Whether it's a plant, whether it's a human being or an animal. They have a particular lifespan to live. Now let us focus on the characteristics of non-living things. Children, look at this image. It's a mug and it's a non-living thing. Now let us see the characteristics 
of a non-living thing. It cannot move. It cannot grow. It cannot breathe. It cannot feel. It cannot reproduce. They do not need food to survive. They never dies. They either breaks or gets damaged. Now let us see the difference once again to revise. Living things and non-living things. Living things. They can grow. They can move. They can feel. They can breathe. They can reproduce. They need water and food to survive. They die. Whereas non-living things, they cannot grow. They cannot move by their own. They cannot feel. They cannot breathe. They cannot reproduce. They neither eat nor drink. They don't die. They either break or get damaged. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for learning with us. Keep watching Kids Study Zone for more videos.